<clears throat> What's up, y'all? I got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. We're about to get into Tea Room. Uh, Carmen and Corey have a Tubi movie. <laughs> Carmen X Fling just. Ah, let's go. Now, Rissa and Quan posted up videos and photos of them on vacation, which left a lot of supporters confused because they didn't know if this was from their trip to the Bahamas or if they're on another vacation uh, what's up, right I got now. A family to feed, so Either way, they posted a new video on their YouTube channel as well, and everything appears to be fine. They're even shopping for backyard furniture. They're trying to sweep all this under the rug, but some of their supporters are still not going for it. Someone stated, he's getting my his folk. lick back, don't worry. Another person stated, so rent was due, like we said. Another person huh? person says they were running low on views on youtube that's why they did all that someone else states the fake breakup was to get more videos so as you can see this is why you can't put uh the internet in your business here many people are believing that the whole breakup was fake from the beginning but you guys leave your opinions on that down in the comment section below do you guys think it was fake do you guys think maybe they made up and they're trying to make everything look like it's normal not sure if that vacation they posted again was from a new vacation they just took or was that the footage from their vacation in the bahamas but now let's four 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 in the chat let's move on to this next topic with carmen and b dot now if you guys don't know who b dot is this was the guy that was at oh, carmen's well, show when he oh was God. rubbing all over her foot and everyone made a big deal out of it because they were like who is this guy rubbing on carmen's foot because at the time of course she was broken up with corey but she was allegedly with Michi. So everyone was confused on actually who this guy was. Now, Carmen denied having anything going on with him, but he just recently posted up a video of him being on FaceTime with Carmen. Oh. And he titled the reel, my best friend said, why y'all ain't listen to my new EP yet? Again, he posted himself on a FaceTime call with Carmen. And you guys know Carmen is allegedly dating Big Boogie Music. I mean, she just posted a photo three days ago with the caption, y'all know who she belongs to with a wizard emoji, which Big Boogie refers to himself as the wizard. So now people started getting on BDOT's case. They were leaving comments that stated, why you post this? And you just wanted a reason to post her. Someone else stated, you just wanted to post her and best friend is crazy. Another person states, mm, and you messy. Now, I'm not sure What's why up, he decided family. to post that reel. Obviously, it was to get people to go over and listen to his music. And he was just using Carmen for that. But I ain't gonna lie. It was corny. It was corny. Not sure how that made her look because, yes, she's on FaceTime with the guy that was sending her flowers and trying to get with her. And it appears that Big Boogie is not happy about something. He was posting on his story, MIA, I don't want to talk to nobody. Then he, he always feel like that, it seems. He goes and states, don't attach my name to nothing. Y'all females ain't none. I'll give my time to my daughter before anything. If we had some going and we don't know mo, no hard feelings. Life goes on. But stop playing with me like I ain't a real one. Y'all don't see me. We don't do nothing. I'm tired of hearing my name come up. I see girls every day of my life that I walk right past. Fine or straight, I ain't chasing nobody. I look good too. Plus, I'm my own boss king whatever you want to call it keep my name out y'all mouth um didn't work y'all try your best to stop the next person from being happy so now anyways you guys leave your opinions on that not sure if that's dealing with someone from his past or someone that he's currently dealing with that boy goes straight to his story every time some shit happened it seemed like i think he Y'all, y'all know his birthday is giving cancer. But now let's move on to this next topic with Carmen because Tubi allegedly released a movie about Carmen's life. It states after being betrayed November 4th. 
Scorpio. By her husband, Carmen leaves her old life behind to follow her dreams, but she soon learns there's a dark side to the music biz. So now, like I stated, people were thinking that this was actually a movie about Carmen. On Twitter, they were saying things like, you know, Tubi made a movie about Carmen and Corey? They too quick. So Carmen did have to go back and post on her page. Y'all, the movie on Tubi is not mine nor my story. Now I did watch a little bit of this movie and I'm not even sure why people are thinking that this movie had anything to do with Carmen and Corey. I mean, the storyline is completely different. I mean, maybe if you didn't know Carmen and Corey's background, you would think that this movie could possibly be about them because the girl was betrayed by her husband and then she goes off into the music industry. But Carmen's not really even a singer she's just a producer so the story didn't add up so anyways you guys leave your opinions on that down <laughs> in the comment section below but let's move on to this next topic with jordan and sierra so now you guys know jordan and sierra are no longer together they broke up a while ago but i feel like they were still kind of dealing with each other which was why feelings were still involved well jordan recently started bringing a new girl around and i'm guessing sierra wasn't going for that she had already stated before that she didn't want her daughter around any other females so now this time sierra had had enough and i think that's because jordan may actually be moving on now and trying to start other relationships again sierra isn't here for that she doesn't want her daughter around it so now jordan just posted a video that he got served with child support papers for, but for my bum ass baby mama bitter ass lazy ass baby mama to come and, and, and put me on child support, knowing I take care of my daughter, knowing every time you ask me for something, I send it money. Even sending money for stuff that don't include include her, but I- She just played herself, I'm not gonna lie. Send it because you don't got it? So do you guys leave your opinions on that down in the comment section below? Do you guys feel like Sierra is just being bitter because Jordan is trying to move on? Do you think she should really file papers on Jordan because Jordan shouldn't have other women around her child? You guys leave your opinions on that and everything else in this video down in the comment section below. July 8th, okay. So you, you been did this shit. You been did this, okay. Uh, hey, it's July 24th, okay. So you been did this. It says, non-custodial parent name, Jordan Lacey. Custodial parent name, Sierra Johnson. It says, to serve you better, we offer Two fast and easy ways for you to check on your child support payments. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. I reacted to this last night. Y'all can check out my reaction because I, I can't do it again. But, um, and actually, like, be serious about it. But, uh, you know, poor Jordan, because I, I think he meant well and she clearly, she don't want to work. She don't want to work. So, um... I feel like it is a lot of factors that go into that. And I feel like he's tried to make it work, but you know, sometimes it just don't. So y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. Y'all will see my reaction to the whole video. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hey, yeah.